What's going on guys and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. A game I thoroughly enjoy. I'm probably some most of you guys have uh, enjoyed this game. Like I played this back in 2018 when it released on the Xbox One and I had a lot of fun with it. It took me like three days to complete and that was kind of me rushing through it but also doing the side quests, exploring, trying to find the hidden treasures and the secret horses and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I love this era, and I love this series of Red Dead. So I thought I'd revisit it in 2023, as of releasing this, January 26. Um, and I just kind of wanted to start the story and just give you a nice chunky video just to watch and sit back and just because you know I've got to bring you the best quality. Because when I played this back then, I was playing it on the Xbox One. Um, and I completed it on the Xbox One, and I've I touched it again, but like beginning of last year. Um, but I wasn't on a very powerful PC back then, um, so I kind of wanted to see where it is today, see how it holds up, and see what it looks like. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into this. I don't know if I'm going to make this a series, but I might put a random video out there every now and again. Um, but yeah, sit back, uh, get some popcorn. Uh, and of course, keep smiling, and let's start Red Dead Redemption 2. Well, here we go. By 1899, the age of the outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of law. Even the West had mostly been tamed. So for those that don't know, this was years before the first one. So this is a prequel to the actual first one. Um, a few gangs still, uh, still roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. The Pinkertons. You remember the Pinkertons? It's kind of like the uh, FBI, kind of. The law. I don't know why or what made me think of wanting to play this again, but I, there was just an inkling. Do you know when just a feeling comes to you? It's like, you know what? I fancy playing that. So I thought, why not? Let's re let's hit record and just just adventure. Um, and yeah, just give, give you guys a little bit of a different video. And head back to the Wild West with Arthur Morgan. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on, come on. A bit random, yeah. but if you're from England, then you know of obviously the milkman, and when they drop off fresh orange. To be honest, to be honest, he didn't drop it off. I saw it with the next door neighbour, and I was like, you know what? Let's go and get a fresh orange. A bit random for you, I know, but. But I've got a quick question for you. What was the game in the past, you know, in the past 10 years that showed you what the future of visual graphics have changed? What was that? This this was this was it for me. Seeing Red Dead Redemption 2 back then in 2018. Bring him in here. Seeing the visuals and the mock-up and the audio and just the story. That was like, okay, this is next gen. You know, this game changed it for me. What was yours? Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. 
What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you are gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had... Well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce. Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet, so they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Uh, oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son! Bye. It's like watching a movie, we right? need you strong. Okay. This game is definitely like watching a movie. Uh, uh, I could sit here and just watch all the cutscenes for Ain't hours. Sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick I don't know why, but I'm kind of excited to play it's this again. Weather. I'm gonna try to In keep... Two days or more like obviously, this the spoil is free and stuff. Blow over soon. Um, just for those that haven't seen it, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to make this a series. I might make a, a video every now and again, um, you know, but if you guys want the demand for it or see the demand for it, I'll definitely throw out more. Um, you know, there's a lot of games that are coming out pretty soon. And uh, this could be a good little filler. Rather than going hunting for a, a big old bear or going on a treasure hunt or even doing some missions. But like I said, this game Can't believe we got showed me the, the next gen one, of visuals. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. And it's getting to that point now. Now we have Unreal Engine 5. We're starting to see the next wave of what visuals can bring. Because the hardware is here, you know. But just the snow, the lighting, the, the sound, this whole thing just makes you cold. It makes you feel what? like we're in a blizzard. Is that someone coming towards us? But yeah, I'm going to try and keep the spoilers out of this. For the, just for those for that haven't played this or seen this or... You know, I'll be very surprised if you haven't. If you've not watched this or played this. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. 
Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow Sounded like me. a party. How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. Oh dear. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. Okay, I just have to change the volume there because I don't know why. But my volume in the settings was way down. So I've just turned it up real quick. But you shouldn't be able to tell a difference because I would have done it in post anyway. But for those that know, know me pretty well, I'm a sucker for a good story. And I like to get immersed and just lost within games. I might as well go in right up to... Oh, yeah. Like, there's a lot of things I've forgotten this. And there might be some new thing. I've only ever completed this game once. Once, that was it. You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan. I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp back up the hill. Huddled around a fire, waiting for Daddy to put food on the table. <laughs> Said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same? So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No, like Dutch told us. Look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders. You know me. I'm a good boy. Right. So, I have a little rule of thumb when it comes to gameplay for me. Uh, especially with PC. Uh, if I'm in third person or I'm playing a third person character, I use controller. If I'm playing first okay. person, Let's keep it down now. I Gentlemen, use mouse and keyboard. Is anyone else the same? Like Same way, same way for racing as well. When I'm racing, I like to use controller. Unless I'm playing a simulation, for example, I might bring out the steering wheel. Um, but for third person games, I can't use mouse and keyboard. I don't know. There's something about it. I don't know what about it. You know, I just can't put my finger on it. So, as per usual, I've got all my settings cranked up. I've got this on 4K, DLSS, RTX. Um, I know DLSS was a recent update at the end of last year, I believe, or sometime during last they year. Up here. They introduced DLSS for PC. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. This game does make you want to walk everywhere, doesn't it? You know, same with Cyberpunk. I've never completed Cyberpunk, and I might just do a random Someone video on that at some point. Fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of them. I remember this. <laughs> Hello? Shut up, Billy. Shh. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well. Hello, friend. What you want? What I you want? Really sorry to disturb you. Uh, 
My friends and I, while well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, trail. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur. need some There's a body of food in the wagon. Or something. I hear you. Just gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think... Go now, buddy. Over there! More of them! It's an ambush! Is he getting protected by... Icicles? To be honest, the reason I think I wanted to play this again is on the live streams we've been watching Viva La Dirt League and their skit, uh, uh, skits. Maybe that's what. Wanted me to jump, jump on this again. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Oh, I totally forgot about this. How you just pick stuff off off the counter. There's no, you know, you can see the items. It's the same with the store. You can just go into the store and you can just grab it off the shelf. Or you can just go up to the, the counter and use a standard menu like you would. You know. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived nope. here. I could found a dead body in the wagon outside. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. Jake and said the when it oh yeah this is say the Adler his house isn't it I'm just grabbing thing so that's the thing you might have seen this all over like YouTube shorts and all them kind of stuff is the amount of detail they put into this game I'm going to start packing the horses you keep looking the amount of detail they put into this. Like, you might have seen a little short of a... The mining camp. And you just see the AI is just putting pins into the actual rail track. And he moves on to another one. You actually see him build it. It's crazy. It's crazy. It still blows my mind to this day. To think... There's some massive games out there that seem to put half the effort in. Either because they're being... Pushed by the publishers or the backers or the, you know, to get to get the game released. You know, I'd rather get a game day one. You know, buggy free, you know. Wait, I'm sure there was some, something I'm missing here. There is something I'm missing. Oh yeah, you can just close the cabinets and stuff. Where's Mrs. Adler? Oh no, she comes out with Micah, doesn't she? I don't think there's anything else I can grab. There's some jewelry. Oh no, I'm gonna go outside to uh to go and see Dutch again. What's taking so long in I'm there? coming, Dutch, I'm coming. Like, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. 
Sure. You can kind of see the horse tracks coming in here and the horse is leaving that way, but there's obviously a trail leading to the barn. Interrogate him. Where's Como Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> Well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. Oh, yeah, so there is a oh. path you can take else. in this. Do you want to take a good or evil roll? Oh, yeah, I get to pick up my... Pick up your hat as well. If you're in a gunfight or anything. And as a cowboy, you always want to keep your hat on you, you know. I'm so confused right now because I've been playing a lot of the PlayStation games, right? Like The Last of Us and, and some others that are coming to the channel pretty soon. And... Every time I see X down there, I keep pressing A on the Xbox controller, thinking it's the X, because I'm used to PlayStation controller at the minute. Is that bastard still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. Decent horse. Get away from me! Oh. Mike, what the hell do you think you're doing? There's Mrs. Adler. Why up there, Gage? Leave her alone! I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them old Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss! Miss! Are you fucking oh, fool? Mike! I never liked Micah ever since I played this. We mean He's an idiot. You no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. 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 Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they. Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And. Can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Yes. It's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. So, uh, it's okay. Uh, get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Adler. Mrs. Mm -hmm. For those that have never watched this game before he, or anything, keep an eye on her. He was my husband. On Sadie Adler. She's for sure an interesting character. Just look where she is now, and then look at the difference she is at the uh, throughout the game. Somebody 
Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Cole O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler. Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. That'll be something you're going to recognize, is if you played the first one, you remember when you're... Um, Bill Williamson is one of the people you hunt in the first game, which, if you remember, is this technically is after this. The time is after this is before the first one. So throughout this, you'll understand why you go after Bill days. Williamson. Weather ain't let up. He's strong, and he's in the smart. next game. Strong, well, at least. Previous, but next. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur. How you doing? Just fine, Abigail. <laughs> and you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. And they do mean John Marsden, by the way. Thank you. <sighs> The guy you actually play in Red Dead Redemption 1. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. I feel cold watching this. Hey, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. More O'Driscoll boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Ha! Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. So obviously, with this John? game, you tell me. These are horse tracks. There is a lot of traveling, all this kind of stuff. Let's just see where they lead. And for those that don't know, so the intro to the game there, slash here. tutorial. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. It's kind of when we're up no, here Pinkerton. in the snow, in the mountains, all that kind of crazy. stuff. Raining bullets. Not until we leave the north is when the game opens slow. up to us. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. 
But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. We continue along the cliff wall here. Davey got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Despacio. Damn snow's coming in hard again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. It's true. I don't think we've got that far to go now anyway. God, imagine just being up here. Every time I look at the snow and up in the mountains like this now, I'm expecting just to hear Saruman's voice in the background, you know, from the Lord of the Rings. Calling down some boulders tumbling on us. I don't know why, it's just every time I see a movie... TV show or even a game with that in yeah, there. A lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Almost there, boy. Come on now. Hey, look. Over there. You see of course. That? John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Oh, that's... Let's see if he can hear us. Can hear him. Come on. Up there. Yeah. From up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I'd grab that shotgun from your horse. Oh Who yeah, I totally forgot about this. To grab your long-ranged weapons, you have to go up to your horse to grab it. Come on. From your saddle or your pouch or whatever to equip it. If you don't, you won't have it on your person. Until you get more, like, bandoliers and stuff, you know. God, this game's so well done. So Watch well done. Here. I'm super looking forward to the next GTA as well. I'm not a big fan of, like, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer or GTA multiplayer. Yeah, but I really enjoy You're the stories. And just losing myself in them over a couple of days. Drops down here. Watch yourself. It's slippery. Be careful. Oof. Stay low under here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to do something. Wait. You okay back there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just drawing a pee pee. It's going to be small, but. I've got to try. I can't, damn it. I tried it in The Last of Us 2 on top of the lorry early on in the uh, in the series. <laughs> Whenever there's snow, you've always got to draw a pee pee. Watch your step. Oh. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. God, imagine just slipping on some black ice here and Come just. On. Imagine. Come on. I'm pressing A again when I'm trying to climb, not now. X. Come on. We're coming. Come on. So hold on, I'm having some peaches. What? Don't have enough stamina. 
I'm coming, I'm coming. So you can choose how you want to go in this as well. Do you want to become an outlaw? Do you want to become more of a hero? Do you want to rob trains? And Do you want to rob stores? Do you want to go in there loud, moving, quiet? Come on. The sheriff's office remember what clothes you're wearing, hey, what horse you? you ride into town with when you first appear. And if I go back into town a couple of days later hey. and I'm wearing the same clothes, I'm using the same horse and I rob a store, even though I've got a mask on or a, uh, a bandana over my face, That's they will know who I am just you're because coming. of the, the appearance of me, you know? Which I found very, very cool. And it gives you a bit more of a immersion when you have to go and change your clothes. All that kind of stuff. It makes sense, you know. That's quite a scratch you got there. There he is. Never thought I'd say this. And that's how he gets his scores. He always talked about it in the first one, how he got attacked by a wolf. In the first one and how he got these scars on his face. Freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Don't die just Come yet, on, cowboy. Compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. That's the thing as well. This year. Isn't it the 10th anniversary of See, Grand Theft Auto? If I'm not mistaken. You're right. So I'm expecting to hear something. You know, it's on the horizon. We've already seen some form of very, very, very early leaks. Uh oh. Of GTA 6. Hey, we've been fighting a lot of wolves recently in Icarus. I've been using my bow and arrow. I've got another episode of that coming out pretty soon on the main channel. Episode number two of our Icarus adventure. We're getting you out of here. I'll bring them this way. Um, I know we got two rounds. God, just the fur on them. That was something I never experienced last time. Was just having the fur the way they are. Like that's pretty insane. I'm super interested to see how it looks on a bear, though. For those that don't know or are watching this video for the first time, if you want to know my PC specs, check the description below. Um, everything's there. Come on, then. Give you a bit of clarity. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died. An hour later. Rabies. You ain't gonna die. <laughs> Not yet. Bloody hell. Just imagine doing this. You know. This is crazy. Oh, we're coming down the hill. Oh yeah, first the first horse ba combat. Get out of here! Uh, uh. Woo! Coming in on the left. Get out of here. Get the hell out of here. Get out. You see any more, Arthur? Don't think so. Jesus. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, 
We're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. This is gonna be cold. So, freezing, bleeding, starving. Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. It wasn't that far away. He's been missing John! for two days. Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Come on, here we go. There we go. Oh. Ah, you oh. careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <sighs> get warm. Get next to a campfire. Get inside and get a, get, get sat next to the fire. Weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm. So that's the thing with open world games, the world needs to be lived in. It needs to have life. It can't be empty. And I'm hoping, and I'm hoping, you sound doubtful. Hogwarts Legacy Not is going to be the same. Doubtful, just worried. I don't what want do it just to be an empty Arthur? playground. Well, I wasn't on that boat. We're so going to be flying say, forever. But trust your but, judgment, Dutch. Always have. You know. Hello, just having a look around. That's something I never really did in the first time I played this. He's look around as much. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks. Well, like, there's something about an open world when, you know, you're kind of walking around and you hear conversations between the NPCs, you can pick up some tips about a location of some stuff. You know, I can't remember where I'm going. I'm going to be heading over here. We've got a couple of missions to do. We've got one with Bill over here, and then we've got this guy over here. And if I'm not mistaken, um, this guy wants us to go hunting. So I think we're going to go hunting for some deer uh, and learn how to do some form of hunting and stealth attacks with the the bow and arrow. I don't know why with every game, I always, and it, and it comes down to like using bow and arrows and all that kind of stuff. I love using a bow and arrow over a, a sword. I don't know why. Blame it on Legolas, you know. <laughs> we're okay. We have... A few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Oh, God. Here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted off. <coughs> Starving would be preferable. <laughs> Come on, let's go. 
You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Bloody awful. Ugh. Exactly like yeah. Arthur said, he had rather starve than eat you, awful. Have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, let's head out. 22, uh, 22 arrows. And my good old awful. All right, Charles, where are we going? How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't an O'Driscoll? <laughs> There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. I'm, I'm really hoping to do a we'll Red Dead Redemption 3. Find some higher ground. Yeah. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just and I'm hoping it's with think back on. John Marsden's son. Because obviously really if you played the first one on and you boat. completed it, me neither. you know he has a child well, and his missus. And it'd be good sure to carry the story on after the first game with his boy, with his son. Um, and to see where that is. But like, it's not much of a western then because of you know, times are changing. Exactly like it said at the beginning of this, you know. Regarding the outlaws and... This is kind of the pinnacle of when... You know, outlaws was becoming... Not a thing anymore. Non-existent is the best way to put it. See some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Oh Keep God, your eyes peeled for movement. this is steep. At some point as well, if we do do more of these, and good. No wind at all is bad. you might not get, you might get one of these like once every week or once every couple of weeks or something. But I might get you guys to change my my horse's name. I know for a fact you'll call it Spoon, but look at this. Walk up to the snow here hey, and just stop here a second. I comes off the something. trees. <clears throat> Has deer been here recently? <laughs> How can you tell? I press B to crouch and I slap the horse. <laughs> Track them on foot. <laughs> I think he liked it. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. True. No, use the bow I gave you. I'm going for it, you spoon. Noise. Give me a minute. Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Let me get my pistol out anyway. Well, there's no point setting off without that bow. Keep down. Charles. Move quiet. I've just grabbed it, okay? What is following the tracks? The tracks? Uh, I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Use your eagle eyes and then track it. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track mm -hmm. as well in grass. And so the way the crafting system works in this game is very much like most open world games. You've got to go on out and hunt wildlife kill a certain amount of animals if you want to get a specific pouch to upgrade 
or uh, just as a visual element. Uh, like, later on in the game, you can go hunt for a, a bear, which is part of the main story, to be honest, uh, as a little side mission to do, a side, little side fun um, thing to do. And you can get a bear, hel uh, bear hat. You know, oh, there it is. You see it in the distance right there. Just drinking some water. I've noticed a lot of you, whenever I say water, a lot of you guys going water. Down there. Water. Yes, I'm British. I am northern. It does Quick, come out every now and again. Out, Arthur. But my Try to hit him in the neck or head. accent Quick and clean. <laughs> has kind of adapted pull back a little little bit. Has adapted a little bit ever since I've started creating uh, content. It used to be a lot heavier. Yeah, I was gonna, I, I did want to go for a headshot, but we got it. That wouldn't have been an insta kill, though. There's another one over there. Uh, unlucky. Take your time. I missed it. It moved. I don't think I've ever missed that one before. Because now I've got to hunt it a little further. And then I've got to carry it up here. Oh, there's two of them over there. You just wounded it. Better go put it out of its misery. Oh, it's <laughs> totally forgot about that. You can just follow the the blood trail and and it's wounded and you gotta uh, this is the worst bit you know you sure your hands okay I can't remember what game it was okay I think it was Tomb Raider. Uh, the new one. The new ones by Crystal Dynamics. Um, where she has to kill her first... She's not She's not killed her first human. It was the first Tomb Raider that they made. Well, it wasn't, wasn't the one they made. But the remakes. With their whole new storylines. And she has to kill the first thing. And I think it was the deer. Come here. We throw you on there. Pretty good hunt there, boy. Yep. <laughs> Ready to head back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. Yeah, when it, when it comes to in-game of killing nice animals, work, especially Should when it comes to dogs, to like if you watch my Last of Us days. 2 series, you found them. we come across a dog okay um, and the enemies it use them. When they ain't shooting back. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> Makes me feel sick. How things were looking a couple of days back. I'm a dog lover, you know? Well, if you're a pet lover, it makes it so turn. much worse when it comes to it. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon, people are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big I tell you what, I am very curious. We'll to low. Obviously, this Church is very American, right? Is there a, an, a, any American place that still kind of want to live like this? 
is there anywhere that they kind of prefer this kind of thing? Like, I'm clueless, but... We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good though we caught more than one. It'd definitely be more, you know, the southern that states, girl right? from the ranch now, too, but <laughs> not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. It'd probably just be the ranches. Would it wouldn't too. surprise me if it's like more the ranches out there that husband, kind of do it. Her home, everything she had. Oh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. The old Driscoll's. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Combe, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Big bear. Let's see if we can find another way around. Big old bear. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. He would have smelt us by now. This if this was real, that bear would have smelt us by now. Oh, I don't know why I'm going this way. Up here. Horse, oh yeah, there's horse bonding. I totally forgot about that. So if I go and get a new horse, I've got to, you know. Go easy, boy. You can bond your horse to have different abilities and um, some new unique stats. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. But if you don't calm no, your horse down when it gets now. scared, it can buck uh, you off, you know. Months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here. Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats Dutch me fair. be Dutch. Most of you do, and for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother. That the thing no about case. playing well, a prequel is you know what's going to happen. You just don't know how it's going to happen. Good. Right? Because obviously if you played the how first game, you, you know what happens you to hey. the gang uh, that we're involved with uh, and all that kind of stuff due to the first game. So when you come into this one, you know what's going to happen, but you don't know the story and the bits in between of how. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He stick by Dutch. Dum, dum. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. 
what's I tell you what, what is your comfort game? What is the game you go to to escape? Like if you get home from work, what do you just want to sit back and play? If you want to get away from the kids for like a couple of hours, or get away from the missus, or get away from your husband or your partner, whoever, what is your go-to game to play to de-stress? Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Boy. Well, well, well. Ah. Look what we got. Just drop off. What a surprise. I find a camp rat loitering around <laughs> in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. <laughs> see, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <laughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. If it were that easy, you know. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <laughs> I love the seam, like the seamless video to gameplay, right? Because obviously the video clips are all part of the gameplay. They're in the engine. But that used to be a thing of the past. Do you remember when it used to quickly blink and go into a video scene and then quickly blink and go into gameplay? A lot of games now can do that. And, you know, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Okay. Let's go and see what Bill Williamson has got for us. I can't remember... If I remember correctly what this one is, but... What's up, Charles? That's not Charles. I forgot his name. What's his name? I forgot his name. This guy... Um, in the first one... Do you, do you... When you kind of go to the Southlands of Red Dead Redemption 1... You go and look for this guy. Uh, with John. If you if you remember the first one, you watch to go and look for that guy. Help with you boys, because I thought got his name now. One of you will tell me. Days on the lamb, you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> Party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. That's funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. By Como Driscoll. Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. So yeah, Como nope, Driscoll and the Irish lot. I would never do a uh, Dutch. You, you always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call. Or the kryptonite. Take this. 
And this is about to more gang. than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. <laughs> Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Did you hear that little voice crack in his voice then? There, it, there'll be uh, old drink schools about. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards. God, you can just hear us and rob this the four horses just galloping. You just hear it on the low end of the base. Just... That must have been terrifying back then. With it all just being quiet and you can just hear a gallop of horses coming in. It's like if you've ever watched any Western movie. Or even if you've watched Game of Thrones and on the last season. And you see the Death Rockies coming Rats. over the hill horses, quite a few with the dragon above it. You know you're in danger. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. Or if you want to go further good, back than bitch. that, and you remember the film Listen, Zulu. I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right And the road. soldiers are there at the camp, and okay. all you can hear is the horses and the drums coming in. You know I got your back. God, I missed. I love that I film. I might have to watch it at some point. That you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him. Needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes. I tell you I what, did. I've just realized. I hope the do will be biker groups. Soon that's how this will you know like sons of anarchy and all that kind of stuff it's kind of still around now like biker groups and they won't call them gangs right do they drive in formation because of this must be close because of outlaws and just horseback riding in gangs back then was a form of uh hierarchy right so is that the same reason why biker groups do it as well because of you know horseback and all that stuff. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're going to head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two... Hold position here. Let's go. I tried to get my, my uh, rifle, but I don't think I can grab it right now. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Call Mo Driscoll. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. 
And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out. Just slapped him around the face. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. Okay. Let's you get the rifle get and, up there and let's move the down there. Let's go and sure say hello to some more Driscolls. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our <laughs> needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Let's go. I'm gonna go down this cliff face first though. I like how he's there kind of walking normal and there's me walking a bit like a like a bloody spoon, you know. He's pushing me off. Well, I'm pushing him off. I'm surprised none of them see us though. Like I know it's a video game and stuff like that, but like There's there's some games out there for sure that <laughs> because obviously for gameplay purposes, you'd be like, why is that person not seen us? Like, hello? You know, you, you crouch behind a box or something, but your big massive rifle's sticking out the top of it like it's nothing. It's steep here. Careful. God, it seems so far down, doesn't it? But at least one thing, we don't have a blizzard anymore. We've got a little bit of food. Who took my tobacco? It's probably Micah. Probably down there already thieving him. Stealing things. Maybe like I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. I don't want to accidentally press something here and shoot something. And just <laughs> just trigger the whole Odriscoll's to come for us without even without even getting in here in here yet, you know. Come on, follow me. Okay, let's get in cover. Ready for this job to be done. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Look at Dutch so to give instructions. We, we have to move on this right now. Okay, fine. You make the move. We are ready to roll. How soon? Just shoot his hat off. Oh, I forgot about the kill cam. Look out! We got more of those cabins! 
been a while, okay? Oof. <laughs> Orphan's face is like, yeah. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can. Oh yeah, we can just grab everything from these, can't we? You recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Colm doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun, grab as much supplies as we can for the journey ahead. Oh, Look more out. of them. More of the bastards coming out of the trees. Advance. I say we go at the bastards. Come on, then. Everyone with me. This is going to be real. Let's get into that forest and clear them out. You're dead now. We'll try that I'll again. kill you twice. nearly shot Micah's head off. That will solve a lot of problems. Let me check these guys' pockets first. Get some rum. We'll, we'll take some room. I don't know how to go about this run. You know? Do I go on the good side? Do I go on the evil side? Or do we just wing it and just... Do whatever comes when it comes, you know? Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill! You go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. What about you, Dutch? Right, man, quick. Are you going to search for something? Are you going to sit on your you flipping high horse and Let's just tell go. everyone what to do? Still sat up there? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> thought so. Get involved. Lead by example. Perfect. You can just tell Mike is a creep as as soon as you come across him for the first time, you know. Hey, he just gets his spider sense tingling. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. It's been a while since I've heard that name. All right. Let's the Leviticus get Cornwall. Out of you, boys. All of you. It's gonna be a name you're gonna Not need to remember. Down. Okay, what's going on here? There's, there's a fire there. Um, <laughs> okay. Hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. 
Well, you didn't get comb, but this head'll hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll tell you what, though. When you're playing this introduction to the game, you cannot wait to see greenery. <laughs> and when you do see it, it's like, oh, boy, it's beautiful. Because all you've been seeing for the first two hours of the game, near enough, is just snow. Snow, snow. A little bit of grey from the rocks. Maybe a little bit of red from the old Driscolls. Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. Yeah. Chase down and, and lasso the old Driscoll. Yeah. Get away from me! Not so fast, there. Come here, yeah. boy. Let's loot him whilst we're here. See if he's got anything on him. This is uh, very kind of you. Shit. Oh, he's got a health cure. Shit. <sighs> right, let's get you back on my horse. Please, please, you don't need to do this. This could get bumpy. Ah. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't <laughs> know your name? It's Karen. Karen what? Duffy, Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you. Have I got a lump? I do. Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? It's not much, but it helps me? a little bit. Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Now we're just gonna get back to camp with Don't this Kieran guy. Just look at the moonlight that's coming through them clouds there. I don't know if this was the first time I really on, saw Mr. volumetric Please. clouds. You better shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. I don't know if it was the first game that I did see it. You know, just the light coming through the clouds and. Casting shadows nothing. to the ground and. Please, I'll do anything. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. It's two bones. And we're just going to tie this guy up. Stuff him somewhere. Leave him to the cold. Here we are, you sack of shit. <laughs> Let's introduce you to the boys. They're going to have a lot of fun with you, Kieran. Just, uh, just be careful of Mike and Bill Williamson. You never know what they'll get up to. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no, now all we'll get is lies. 
Uncle! Mr. Williamson! Tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. That's Loki terrifying. I can't believe it! What he just I said there, right? In my camp! I ain't in no Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Time to go and rob ourselves a train. A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. <laughs> Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at it. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Well, it's good to see a little bit of color. I thought we was lying low. Finally. Yeah. Come on. A little bit. For me, Jose. I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. <laughs> Get your horses You gotta get used to Dutch's speeches. You know, he likes to do them every now and again. Everyone ready? All right, let's head out. Watch out. <laughs> uh, he likes to do his speeches every now and again. Listen up. He's got old Dutch. Information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier? You two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Ray, have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. Mm -hmm. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. Let's ride. <laughs> Time's going rubber train. Got 
God, I love the music. I love everything about this game. Hence the reason it's my most probably second favourite game out there. And then my favourite game is obviously Last of Us. Brilliant story, music, just... Story games and open world get me, you know. It hooks me in. Look at that view, Jesus. Finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for two Mike long. is such a spoon. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up! And get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. Whoa. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Here we go. Whoa. You can see the rail line now. And there's Bill. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Where is he? Oh, there he is. How you getting on? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Of course. Can I help a little? <laughs> the size of that dynamite. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. God, I don't even think I trust myself doing this. That's the thing. When you look at TNT and the dynamite and, you know, uh, the spool of wire and the detonator over here, it always reminds me of Roadrunner. You know, the cartoon. Meep, meep. And the fox is, uh, well, the coyote. <laughs> He's okay. always waiting That's next good. to a boulder with some TNT All or something. Right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Okay. God, okay, this is boy. beautiful. He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute. Wait, what did he want me to do? Uh, I'll put my mask on, right? Um, items, gloves, mask. There we go. There we go. Time to get ourselves a train. Gentlemen. It's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. <laughs> Here we go. Shit, no, what? God! Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. So it's my fault. Come on! <laughs> You're pathetic. Of course. You know 
Now there's only one way to get onto that train. One way. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, hold. Yep. Javier missed the train. <laughs> Wait, who am I with right now? Hey, down here. Charles. Oh, Lenny. Pull me up. I've got you. Now stop yelling. Arthur, help me. Yeah, you're okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell. The others will get him. Let's go. Come on, we need to stop this train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Uh, I'll try it. Oh. I forgot how to melee. Uh, Lenny, I messed up. I pressed the wrong button. Forgive me. That's probably going to happen from time to time. Where's my hat? Come on, let's get to the front. Trying, but hold. Where's my hat? Have you got my hat? Damn it. Do I have my hat here? I don't think I do, right? I want my hat. I'm not a cowboy without my hat. Hurry. We have to stop this train. That's what we're doing, kid. Jesus. It hit me with a big spoon. <laughs> you got him? I ain't got a clear shot. Yep. Just throwing him overboard. I know, Lenny. Oh, come on. That was super close. Not time I took his hat off. Yeah, he's pushing us. Leviticus Cornwall. Where the hell are the others? I don't know. Oh shit! Look, they're coming out of that last car. We're gonna get out of this. I keep pressing oh, right trigger to reload, like I'm playing the Last of Us right now. Hey, the other boy. I need to get out of that habit right now. Watch it. Oh god, I thought I had a shot. Right. One of our guys. Kid. I can see now why the O'Driscolls brought so many boys the, up here for what this. The, eh, what the? What the? Apparently, I'm running around in circles. I don't know why. I was doing a little dance. <laughs> you two all right? Yes. Yeah. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little.
Still not. <laughs> Reloaded. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, Do it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. This is one way to open Seems it. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. <laughs> All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> I mean, Micah's laugh is so evil. <laughs> Look at this place. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> Inspect letter. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive payment of two thousand dollars for the initial phase of exploration at the Waipiti Indian Reservation. Uh, Amberino has agreed in the contract between Cornwall Kerosene and Tor and the Leyland Oil Development Company, dated November 9th, 1898. On receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three of the project and present you with a detailed report of our findings within the month. Yours respectfully, ah. James Critichley, uh, Critich, head of accounts, Leyland Oil Development done. Company. Shit, just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Bonds. Yeah. Make yourself useful. Ooh, some brandy. We all know you can read. Give me those. Brandy's nice. Keeps your belly warm as as well as whiskey. Railroad contracts. Dear Leviticus, uh, Voices, Leviticus, thank you for the blah, telegram blah, and for blah, your blah, continued blah. interest in the Jameson really. Mining Company. Sugar However, any news you haven't West received Indies, of mismanagement or financial sugar. difficulties Some at the mine in Annersburg are simply fake Europe. and I would urge you to question your sources. <laughs> the coal industry is quite different from the I oil am. industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and Have educate each other on respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in the Annersburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated Let's facilities. Along, I look forward to further correspondence. Yours sincerely, Archibald Jameson. Any luck, Arthur? Nothing much. Yet. Nothing much yet. I'm looking. Well, let's keep looking. I am doing. This goddamn O'Driscolls. On a cigar. Eh? These just seem to be contracts, Arthur. Have you looked down the end there? Yeah, I'm looking. Yes, boom. Oh, this looks like something. <sighs> well, keep looking. There must be something. Bonds. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> ah. <laughs> I can't take. I'm full on cigars now. Get some more brandy. Fine brandy, in fact. What did you find? These brandy. <laughs> they worth anything? Oh, sure. Fairer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? <laughs> wow, well uh, done. Get it out of here. What about <laughs> them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. He, he's very animated, he's Dutch, right? All right, guys. Okay, get on the train, quick. No, stop. We won't... You want what? Yeah, I thought so. Can't hear you. Because you're bleeding from your eyeballs. 
Maybe I should have got my horse to the end of this train. Jesus. I didn't realize how long it was. The train. Just leave that running now. Don't know what's gonna <laughs> what that's gonna collide into, but So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Damn, that music. And the journey begins. In the wild west of Red Dead Redemption 2. up ahead make sure there's no surprises we've had enough of those me with the boy just go come on kid you can buy me a whiskey <laughs> mm -hmm. oh here we go riding a horse and carriage The water as well. Super nice. Get us out the stream. Oh, keep us the wheel. The, the wheel. Ah, shit. Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. Yeah, how is it your fault, though? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? <laughs> Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. It's literally not on there with anything, is it? See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. No. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. That's true. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Mm. 
Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? Just literally just kicked him off the land, you know. How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. <laughs> hey, don't blame it on me. I was about me. to say, don't blame me. I'm not doing anything. forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, it's true. What happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marsh did. Could you imagine if Redemption 3 is a prequel to this one? I don't one? understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Uh, it's a long Whenever you ever seen a game that goes backwards in time, the first one. Is. <laughs> we still heading the right way. That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Mm -hmm. Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. Valentine. There's a livestock town not too far from here yeah. called Valentine. Cowboys, outlas, totally forgot about that place. Girls, our kind of place. Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. <laughs> and this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you the think thing is, though, if it's really got a name, going people know about it. So why it's hide just, out in a place that people you know? know? Maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Nope. What are you working on there, anyway? mortar. Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah. You can have all this. Oh, yeah, that's how we make tonics and health portions and collecting flowers okay. and Thank you. all that kind of stuff. Totally forgot about that. I knew yeah. about the, the... I remember the crafting, but totally forgot about the pestle and mortar and making stuff through that. Oh, this way. Going a little too fast there. I think we're just up ahead of you in, in the bush anyway. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, let's go. 
I think that was optional. I could have left him there, you know. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. That's the thing. They're always going to be on the move. Especially if they've got the law chasing them. The O'Driscoll's chasing them. They're always going to be on the move. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet And all home. it takes is for someone to recognize them. And then you, you move on to another spot. Okay. This place Here we is are. perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I, I, not the I team, I. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money, and a long way from a dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. <coughs> Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Oh, God, here we go, another speech. Now. I know. Get used to it, I told you. Things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, one of you. it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind <laughs> me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. So everything we do, we can put into the, the camp, and the camp can be upgraded. We can get better ammunition coming in, better food stock, all that kind of stuff. Chapter 2. We're finally out of the snow, and we finally arrived at Horseshoe Overlook. A couple of weeks later, as well. So everyone's probably working, everyone's found a good established job. Road east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. God. His eyes are sparkling once more. Yeah, Shiv. I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Well. Arthur. Jose. Ooh. Ooh, I got coffee. <laughs> or tea. Whatever they're drinking. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. 
I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> well, I think that's a good time to actually end that video right here. We kind of got rid of chapter one. We're moving on to chapter two. This has been a very long video. So remember to check out my other content right here. And, you know, if you want to see more, like, this is not going to be like one every couple of days. It'll be like once a week, once every couple of weeks, uh, once every two weeks or something like that. Um, just have a bit of a fun, bit of a filler video and just kind of explore Red Dead Redemption 2. So check out my other content right here. And uh, as always, I'll see you in another video. And uh, keep smiling.